Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be giving you guys the best 100k team, like a budget team basically guys. We have a budget of 100k MT, and we get to spend it on 10 players to make what I believe is the best 100k team in the game. If you guys are new here, we are on the road to 600 subscribers by the end of the year. I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post two to three my team videos every single day and give some of the best no money spent content, tips and tricks on the platform. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe down below. But no further ado, let's get on to the video. So guys, 100k to work with and we got to make 10 positions and 10 players. One, two point guards, two shooting guards, two small forwards, two power forwards, two centers. We've got 100k to work with. So for my first point guard, we're going to go Drew Holiday. I'm also going to be showing you guys stats and badges and explaining why I went with these players. But first player, guys, is going to be Drew Holiday. I think he's a great defender, great score. Let's go check out his stats and badges. Drew Holiday is a point guard shooting guard, 6'3", six 6'7", foot six foot wingspan, and he's 205 pounds, so he has a pretty good body frame. He's got 83 three ball, 84 mid-range, 89 speed, 89 acceleration. That's really fast. He's got 90 stamina, which is good, 93 perimeter, 94 lateral, 92 steel, 93 pass perception. He's got a 65 driving hook, which is okay. He's got 89 smooth ball, 86 ball handle, and good passing. I'm not going to say he's a budget Gary Payne, but I'm going to say he plays like a Gary Payne, who he can score the ball pretty well. He's got a good three ball. He can dunk the ball. He's pretty fast. He's got good ball handle, good smooth ball, and he's a great on-ball defender. Gary Payne obviously beats him in the badges, but and, and six foot three to six foot four, basically like he, I guess you could say he plays like a Gary Payne. I don't know if you want to say budget Gary Payne, but this year holiday's got some good finishing badges. His shooting badges can't be touched, which might be the difference because Gary Payne's badges can be touched. Um, pretty good playmaking badges got like all of them. He's got bronze quick first step which can be upgraded He's got gold space creator. He's got gold bullet and gold bailout and then defensive badges He only has one Hall of Fame and his angle braces Which is one of the not the worst badges in the game, but it's just a useless badge in my opinion He's got gold ball stripper clamps interceptor intimidator menace pick dodger pickpocket silver hustler and pogo stick And yeah guys, that's your holiday. So he's gonna be our starting point guard for this team and guys i'm going to put up on the screen how much mt he's going for right now as recording the video and i'm pretty sure it was around 19,000 mt so i'm going to put that up on the screen and let's get on to the shooting guard for our starting shooting guard guys it's going to be i think one of the best shooting guards in the game and he's one of my favorite players to use in the game is this amethyst dunktober donovan mitchell I think he's just an all-around great offensive player and just an all-around good player in general. So let's go look at his stats and badges. Donovan Mitchell is a shooting guard small forward, six foot one with a six foot ten wingspan. He's got 83 three ball, 86 mid-range. He's got 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 vertical, 88 perimeter, 90 lateral, 88 steal, 80 block, 89 pass reception, 79 tier defense. So he's an all-around great, great defender. 90 driving on swear he dunks over everybody 93 speed with ball so he's super fast 88 ball handle is pretty good and then not 89 in the passing is also really good but guys look at the badges 15 bronze 29 silver 13 gold one hall of fame just look at these badges like he's barely missing any badges like where is he missing any badges like four five six and then seven he's literally only missing like I don't know 15 badges maybe a bit more maybe like 20 badges so guys i'm not gonna go over every badge especially because it's donovan mitchell and we'd be here all day but like every silver defensive badge in the game he would need he's got every playmaking bronze uh playmaking badge on bronze at least he's got all the good shooting badges he can get chef he can't get limitless but he can get chef he can get limitless takeoff poster as a gold he can get all these badges his release is super money in my opinion he's got sh shifty dribble style i don't know man i think donovan mitchell is all around just top three shooting guard in the game so especially for this budget list i think he was around 15 17 20k somewhere in that range uh, so yeah donovan mitchell is going to be our starting shooting guard i'll show you guys on the screen how much he's going for and let's get on to the small forward for our starting small forward we got Kawhi leonard i think Kawhi is still one of the best locks in the game and still one of the best small forwards in the game just because of his defensive ability so Kawhi leonard is a small forward power forward six foot seven in height seven foot three in wingspan he's got 80 shot three 83 ball 84 mid range 83 speed 83 acceleration he's got 91 perimeter 79 interior 90 lateral 89 pass reception 75 steal but that must be like a 99 i swear how many steals you get and 51 block he blocks every single ball 80 driving 84 driving lamp 
again can't handle the ball so with Kawhi Leonard what you're gonna do with him is you're gonna you're gonna sit in the corner you're gonna shoot wide open he's got Ray Allen base so he's got a really really nice release right so if he's open wide open you're gonna green light and he can green contested he's got a really nice release if you get used to it it's really easy at a time but once you get it down you can green like 20 30 percent covered and then guys defensively you put him on ball he's got a great stance his defensive stance is one of the best defensive stances in the game so just the way he stands he's really good at guarding on ball he can move he can go around screens very easily he doesn't touch a screen he basically can get you a stop with you with your eyes closed so basically guys i don't really need to go into badges and stats and really basically just that's what he does he's just we all know Kawhi leonard he's just an all-around clamp god and he can do something on offense with shooting a three ball so Kawhi leonard i think comes around maybe 20 19k again it'll be up on the screen right now let's get on to the power forward Next up, guys, at Power Forward, we do have LeBron James's Ruby card, the uh, Alter Ego, not the Mask one, because I think the Mask one is like 10 KMT. So this one, I think, was only 2 KMT, so 2 or 3 KMT for a Ruby LeBron James. And guys, it's not some bum LeBron James. So he's still his same small forward, Power Forward, 6 foot 9 height, 7 foot wingspan, 250 weight, but one of the best body frames in the game. He's got a 75 three ball, 75 mid range, and this game is very easy to shoot with that. 88 speed, 80 acceleration, 83 vertical, so he's very fast. 77 interior, 85 perimeter, 83 lateral, 83 pass reception, 72 blocks, 69 steal, 80 driving dunk, but again, it's LeBron James, he dunks over everybody, 90 driving lamp, 84 sweep ball, and 80 in the rebounding. And guys, I'll let you guys do this on your own time, but on your own time, go to 2KDB, type in the LeBron James Ruby card, come over to compare, type in the LeBron James Diamond card, right? Go to this Diamond LeBron James and just compare their stats and badges. This card is not that much worse than his diamond card. And I'm being I'm being real. It's not that much worse. Is it worse? Yes. Would you rather would you rather use a diamond one? A hundred percent. But for 3k MT compared to what 70 80k for the diamond if you're on a budget man this card is so good and he played I've used I did a gameplay on him. He and I might I'm, I'll probably link it in the video. He like literally played like his diamond he played like his diamond to be honest with you so i don't really need to go over stats and badges we all know lebron james is lebron james he just gets some of the best animations in the game his jump shot's pretty good in my opinion he just plays great defense he can score the ball he can rebound the ball he can pass the ball he just gets the best animations in the game so lebron james ruby card is our starting power forward around 3k mt you guys will see his amount of mt and the total of mt so far let's get on to our last position of the starting lineup the center For starting center, we're going to go with someone who I think is very underrated in the community, at least in the competitive community. I get made fun of for using this card a lot. Kristaps Porzingis. I really do like Kristaps Porzingis. He's 7'3", seven 7'6", foot seven foot wingspan, 240, so he's not skinny. As my people, people might think he's skinny, but trust me guys, this guy can hold it down in the paint. He's got 82 mid -range, sorry, 83 mid-range, 82 speed. He's got 83 mid-range, 82 shot three, 83, 82 three ball. 69 speed and 60 acceleration isn't the best, but he's not slow. 82 interior defense. Again, he's seven foot three. He's gonna block shots. 86 block is fine. Um, he's got 90 sand dunk, 75 driving dunk. He can rebound the ball really well. Again, stats and badges don't really don't really matter for him. But he does get bronze limitless, silver sniper. You know, he's got gold catch and or sorry, gold catch and shoot, green machine, hot center. He's got hall of fame set shooter. So if you if you do pick and pops and he's set, he'll be able to make a lot of shots. I think his release is really good as well. Um, again, he's just a really good popping three. If you want a good popper for around, I think he's maybe 15k, maybe 20k at the most, probably about 13 to 15k. A seven foot three, seven foot six wingspan guy who's got an 82 three ball who can pop threes, play great defense in my opinion. He doesn't get mashed very often. He grabs like a lot of rebounds with pretty good rebounding stats, but even seven foot three, seven foot six wingspan. I played a game yesterday where AD literally had him boxed out and he literally jumped over AD and grabbed the ball for the rebound. So he's just an absolute horse on the rebounds. I think I think Porzingis is a really, really good center. I think he's like a top center in the game, but also I think he's the best budget center in the game for our price range. So that's the starting lineup, guys. I think it came around to 70k MT. You guys will see on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it did come to around 70k MT. So let's get on to the bench. For our backup point guard and our first player on the bench, we are going to go with the Ruby Derrick Rose. I feel like that set gave some pretty good Ruby cards. Like it gave Rose and LeBron, which are two really good budget cards in my opinion. So I'm glad they did drop that Alter Ego set. Again, I wouldn't go with the mask one just because, again, because people want to do XP with the mask one, it's going to be a little bit more MT, maybe 5K more MT. There's just no point for this type of budget squad. 
So he's point guard, shooting guard, six foot three, six foot eight wingspan, 200 pounds. So he's not skinny. Like he, I guess he's skinny, but 73 through ball, 80 mid range, 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 96 vertical. Again, can't play defense, but neither could his diamond card. 85 driving dunk, 93 speed ball, 86 ball handle, and playmaking badge is really good defensively. Can get can get every badge in the game, every defensive badge in the game. Um, shooting badges, he can get mismatch, which you'll probably want to give him. You can give him dead eye, which you might want to give him as well. Finishing badges, we all know D Rose got D Rose got gold posterizer. He only has silver limos, but you can't upgrade that. But guys, gang, on your free time, go and compare these two cards. Come to compare and compare these two cards on your free time. And trust me, you'll see. It's not that much of a difference. The only difference really is that you're losing Hall of Fame quick first step. So on the diamond card, you do get Hall of Fame quick first step. On this one, you only get gold. But I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference. No. Um, again, if you're in the competitive scene and you want to try to win 250k or you want to compete in tournaments, you want to use the diamond D-Rows if you'd like D-Rows. But if you're on a budget for 2,000 MT, I think 1,700 MT, this one plays pretty much the same way like he says diamond. Because again, remember guys, he gets all his sigs and the best drill move in the game right now is um, it's one of these D Derek Roses. Basically, it's the one where the ball glitches through the guy's hand. So if you have Derek Rose, it glitches through his hand and you can just go either way. So you can go side to side glitching the ball through your hand. Basically, it's a really overpowered move that I may make a video on in the future. Um, but Derek Rose is the only player in the game that can do it so far or anybody that has his signature move. But Derek Rose release isn't the worst. It's really fast, so you won't you won't get contested as much. But again, for what he does, he's just a rim runner. He, you know, he's really fast, can rim run, he can shoot a little bit, and he can pass the ball really well. So Derek Rose for around 2,000 MT is honestly a really, really good backup point guard. For our backup shooting guard, we're going to go with the Canadian. We're going to go with RJ Barrett, who plays for the New York Knicks. He got a moments card or a primetime moments card. And basically, I really like, I've always liked RJ Barrett cards in 2K. He's small forward shooting guard, 6'6 six six height, 6'10 six wingspan, 82 three ball, 81 mid range, 86 speed, 86 acceleration, 84 perimeter defense, 84 lateral, 78 steel. So you can play pretty good defense. 85 driving dunk, 88 driving layup. 82 smooth ball, 83 ball handle, so you can, you know, he can he can move with the ball a little bit. Um, again, you're gonna want to play him at shooting guard. He's six foot six. You could play him at small forward, but you want to play him at shooting guard. He's got gold posterizer and shooting badges. Got some really good gold badges. Again, you can't really touch any of his finishing or his shooting badges, which is not the best. You can touch some of his defensive badges. He doesn't get clamps though, but he does get silver pickpocket or pick dodger. He gets gold pogo hustler and chase on ours, but I recommend giving him pickpocket, maybe rim protector. Um, again, you can get every playmaking badge in the game. Um, he already comes with gold bailout, bullet passer. You'd want to give him quick first step, quick chain, hyper drive. But again, he's just he's honestly just a 3 and D card. Um, a 3 and D card that can actually do something on offense with the ball. So I don't know if I'd call him 3 and D. I'd call him just an all-around player. He can score the ball pretty well. He can lock up other people's I wouldn't put him I wouldn't put him on ball, but he can guard their second or third ball handler on the team. And I feel like on this on this line he fits a pretty good role. So RJ Bear, I do like his release a lot. I think RJ Bear is my backup shooting guard. Let's get on to the small forward. Our backup small forward is another card kind of like RJ Barrett. Is this Landry Fields card, which I think I just put the wrong card in. Let me type in Fields. So we're gonna go with this Landry Fields card. He is a small forward shooting guard, six foot seven, six foot nine wingspan Ruby card from also the Knicks. He's got 85 three balls, 76 mid range, 80 speed, 80 acceleration, great defense, 88 lateral, 88 perimeter, 88 steel. That's just amazing. 80 driving dunk. He can't really dribble the ball. So he is the ultimate three and D card with gold clamps, interceptor, pick dodger, silver hustler, menace, pick, pick pocket, pogo stick, toss defender, and get every defensive badge in the game. So he is the ultimate three and D card. He can't do anything with the ball on offense, but he can definitely shoot wide open. That's all you really need to know about Landry Fields. He's a great defender, great, great on-ball defender. You want to put him on ball, he'll lock up their best point guard, shooting guard, whatever, and he can shoot the ball on offense. He can't create like RJ, right? RJ gives you a bit more of scoring on offense, but RJ, uh, but Landry Fields gives you a bit more defense. I think six foot seven, six foot six is really tall for shooting guard and small forward, which also helps on the defensive end. So that is my backup small forward. Let's get on to the power forward, and you guys will also see his MT. You guys should know by now that you'll see the MT on the screen and how much he's going for. So let's get on to the power forward. 
For the backup four, I think it's been a card, a budget card in the game at least that's been talked about since he came out, is this Ruby Darius Miles card. He came out literally like when? September 17th. He came out seven a week after the game came out, and we're about almost two months into the game being out, and he's still in some of the best budget squads in the game. He is a Ruby small forward, power forward, six foot nine in height, seven foot wingspan, 85 three ball, 82 mid range, 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 90 vertical. 76 interior, 84 perimeter, 82 lateral, 78 steel, 79 block, so we can guard every position basically decently well. 85 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, 85 driving lamp. He can't really dribble with the ball. He's got okay rebounding, but he's glitched, so he can get every single card in the game. Or sorry, every single badge in the game. So if you want to give him a chef, you can give him a chef. If you want to give him a limitless spot up, you can give him a limitless spot up. So what you probably want to do is probably give him like limitless spot up sniper for shooting badges and then maybe defensively you'd want to look and maybe give him some sort of badges but it already comes with silver interceptor hustler he's got gold pogo off ball pass and chase on ours you want to decide are you going to put him at power forward or are you going to put him at small forward for me i'm going to put him at power forward so he's going to probably defensively need maybe a rim protector or rebound chaser and maybe a brick wall if i want to set screen to them and you don't really need to worry about playmaking badges. You could give him bullet passer if you're really worried about that. But other than bullet passer, again, I don't see it. You don't. I mean, obviously, you'd want to give him all the badges of the game. But you can only give him five badges. So I'd probably just give him, like, bullet passer. Maybe, like, rim protector, rebound chaser. And then maybe limitless spot up and sniper on offense. That's kind of what I would do. But he already comes with some okay badges. Um, I, I think he's still really, really good budget card in the game. So Darius Miles is our backup four. On to the last position of the team, guys, is our backup center. For our last position on the team, we're going to go with some people's like best budget center of the game. I think it's Porzingis. But this Josh Smith, guys, honestly, if you badge him out, is probably one of the best centers in the game. So let's get on to his stats and badges. Josh Smith here is a Amethyst power forward center, 6'9", 7' wingspan. 74 three ball, 74 mid range, 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 90 vertical, 95 stamina. But guys, look at the just, 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 just look at the defense. Do I even need to speak right now? Do I even need to say anything? I guess I will. But 91 interior, 88 perimeter defense, 86 lateral, 88 pass reception, 88 steal, and 92 block. This man can guard your point guard. He can guard your center. He can guard your power forward, small forward, shooting guard, any position on the floor. He can switch onto, which is very helpful. Especially if people run pick and rolls a lot, which is the meta of the game is for pick and roll for people who to run pick and rolls. So this guy can switch onto your point guard, small fortune guard. It doesn't matter. He can switch onto them. He can rotate because he's fast. Um, he's got 90 driving dunk, 80 standing dunk. He gets some of the best animations, defensive animations in the game as well, guys. 89 defensive rebound, 82 offensive rebound. So we can definitely get rebounds. He's got all the good defensive badges you would need. You could give him pickpocket if you want to put him on ball. I wouldn't put him on ball though. He's gonna guard. He's gonna guard their center. So honestly, guys, and his release isn't the worst. Um, he doesn't get any shooting badges, which is you gotta you basically kind of have to get you have to get used to his release. If you can't figure out his release and you don't like his release, don't get this card because you're not gonna be able to shoot with him. Um, because he's such a good defender, but he's only six foot nine, so he may get mashed a little bit. Um, so you kind of need the shooting. But again, you should be able to shoot with his release. But if you can't, then that's a bit of a problem. So guys, that's the starting five, and that is the bench. I'm pretty sure the total MT, it, I mean, it did come to under 100 KMT. I will point out one thing if you guys made it so far this far in the video. I'd recommend picking up Bruce Brown instead of Landry Fields. I think that's a big upgrade for this team. But he was about like 7k more, so it would have put us over the total. But if you want to spend a little bit more MT, like 7k MT, 5k MT more, pick up this Bruce Bowen signature just over Landry Fields. But yeah, guys, I think it did come to under under 100k. You guys will you guys would have seen on the screen after Josh Smith. So yeah, guys, that is the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. This is my best 100k team. I truly believe if you run with this team in unlimited, you'll be fine. You'll have a great chance of winning. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.